Well, the jury of appeal met today to uh, reread the photo finish and decided to revise Gail Diva's time from 10.81 to 10.82, the same time as Ottie. However, she will retain the gold medal and Ottie will get a silver. How does that work, Dave Moorcroft? Well, it's a sort of controversial thing, really. I think if they can, if they can determine the difference of a hundredth of a second, that's fair enough. But once you get beyond a hundredth, the way they actually do it, although they've got the same time to a hundredth, they can actually divide to the thousandth. But, I mean, a hundredth is a sort of a distance or a time that we can't really equate to. And I, I, I think they, they should give, when it's that close and when it's that even, to the hundredth of a second, then it's got to be first equal. I don't think, I, you, there's no way that you can separate those two. We had a very similar thing at the Olympics last year with Jarrett, the uh, British high hurdler, who finished fourth, well, he finished equal third, didn't he? Exactly the same time to the hundredth, didn't get a medal. Exactly, and, and at the last World Championships, it, the, the first and second in the, in the 110 hurdles was divided by, by less than a, a hundredth of a second. And uh, no, I think, I think the time has come now. When, if you can't, if there's no way you can really differentiate in, in terms of time then, if it's getting that sophisticated, and I think they've got to say that those people finish first equal. Joint chance. What's wrong with that? Nothing at all. Right, let's just uh, tell you what's coming up tonight. A wonderful night of athletics. And uh, we've got all those finals for you. The heptathlon as well, as you see, uh, will be decided. Um, two 400 finals, women's and men's. Uh, the women's 800 final. And then the men's 800 final. Uh, before that, we've got uh, 200 meters for women. Second round, David Coleman.